it's cold, it's windy and raining, and we're in the middle of nowhere in Utah with the all new Land Rover Discovery. Now this fifth generation car has lost about 20% of its body weight compared to its predecessor, weighing about two tons. That means better fuel efficiency and better aerodynamics. I guess the highlight of the car though is the interior, which is now more Range Rover than ever before. But before we jump in, I really do want to show you this boot. Now, I'm most impressed by this boot lid cover here, which is about, you know, taking around 300 kilograms of weight. So I can sit on it and nothing really happens. Now, the idea is that, you know, you could lower the car and your dog can jump in pretty easily and all sorts of other really interesting things. However, the highlight for me are actually these buttons here, which can control the seven seat configuration in 21 different ways. So simply press these buttons and the seats fall up and down and you could put basically anything back here. And for me, that's really impressive. Now, as you know, Land Rover harps on about its off-road ability quite a lot. And, and like a lot of other companies though, it's relatively well justified. And I have to say, I've done a lot of off-roading in this car today, around 300 kilometers of on-road driving. But the off-road ability of this thing, particularly on road tires, is very, very impressive. Now, you will probably never take it anywhere like this, but if you wanted to, you can. And I guess that's the point of owning one of these. As for the more important stuff, like the on-road dynamics, well, it's super comfortable. And it's also really quiet. In fact, Land Rover says it's now on par with the Range Rover. So I guess if you're gonna buy one of those, you're hoping for something a little bit more. As for how it drives, look, I know it's lost a fair bit of weight, but this is still a big car. And when you put it around the corner, even at sort of moderate speeds, you do feel it rolling around a little bit, but that's okay, because this is not supposed to be a sports car, it's supposed to be a family SUV. And in that regard, it really nails the brief. And if you're looking for practicality, this thing has got over 20 different stowage spots, and it can take up to 45 liters of stuff just in the cabin itself. Now we're talking four iPads, nine USB chargers and a whole heap of other stuff that really does make this a great family SUV. Now Land Rover calls this the first digital discovery. Now that sounds like a bit of a marketing gimmick, but I kind of get what they mean. Now from this screen here, this new in-control system, which is very similar to what they've got in Jaguar and Range Rover, you can control the back seats, press buttons, everything starts folding down. You can also control the car using your iPhone. So you can turn it on, you can unlock it, you can do all sorts of really interesting things with the car, and all of this in a discovery. I have to say, that's pretty good. At the end of the day, this is still a very big car, but compared to its predecessor, it is substantially improved. It's lighter, it's got a much nicer interior, and it's far more fuel efficient than ever before. So, if you're looking for a large seven-seater SUV, it's really hard to look past this one. <music> 